today's news you can use. We're going to start off with a um, headline this morning from CNBC. Uh, when is the housing market going to crash is the number one search in the last 72 hours on Google. Uh, it seems that everybody out there in the, in the world is getting panicked and concerned about uh, if, if and when uh, the housing market's going to uh, contract. Uh, some of the things that are noted um, is at the start of this month here, April 2021, as this call is being recorded, 42% of the homes that were listed on the MLS have sold beyond their asking price, above and beyond their asking price. Uh, that's about 16% uh, percentage points higher than a year ago. Um, and uh, that's, that, that is telling, that is generally indicative of a bubble coming our way. Um, so people are searching this on Google for good reason. Um, there's also other reasons to be concerned. First of all, um, we are looking at a 350 uh, percent increase in the number of offers per house sold uh, on the higher end of the market. On the lower end of the market, we are below last year. This is year over year. Uh, also, prices are up uh, in February this year versus February last year. Nationally, CoreLogic says prices are up 10.4 percent uh, on a year over year basis. The conclusion that the uh, chief economist for CoreLogic. CoreLogic is the company, the company in this industry that basically records, is a collector of all information from all of the recorders offices, all the MLS data, all that kind of stuff nationally. So a lot of these companies that provide data like PropStream, for example, get it primarily from CoreLogic. Um, so CoreLogic is kind of the go-to source in terms of what, what's happening out there in the marketplace. And the, the chief economist for CoreLogic said this morning in an interview on CNBC that they have not seen this type of activity and these types of metrics in the housing market since 2006. Now, you guys have been on here for a while and heard me talk about 2006 for a while. Um, and that was the last time when I saw what we're currently seeing, which is um, everybody overpaying for houses, a lot of equity in every house. The nice thing that's happening today versus in 2006 is that most of the houses have true equity, not phantom equity that was created by mortgage fraud, which happened a lot in 2003, 4, 5, and 6. Uh, we're not having that issue now. The, the, the loans are pretty solid. However, this, this makes for a true, genuine potential housing bubble not one that was created by artificial fraud on the case of the mortgage lenders. So um, they're saying, and what we saw after 2006 is we saw prices starting to dramatically drop into 2008. And they really dropped. And then going into 2011, uh, they bottomed out. And so, um, you know, expect to see that uh, crash at some point as we've talked. Uh, over the next couple of years, um, the government is doing its best to avoid the foreclosure crisis by banning foreclosures, banning evictions, things like that. All that is doing, in my opinion, is it's creating a bigger pile of mess that's going to have to be dealt with later on. So in other words, instead of letting the air out of the bubble slowly so that it contracts slowly, they're letting this bubble get bigger and bigger and bigger by these artificial means of trying to control foreclosures, evictions, things like that. And when it busts, when the balloon pops, it's going to flatten quickly, I think. So you're going to see a, and I've been through probably three of these crashes since the late 90s in this business. Um, this one has the potential, it has the makings of being a, a pretty big one uh, in terms of price drops. So if you guys are involved in the default markets, the foreclosure markets, that, that kind of thing, um, just hone your skills because over the next several years, I believe you're going to really be able to utilize those things. Um, the interesting things, if you're involved in the wholesale market out there at all, or even just buying as a seller finance type product, you are, um, if you hone your negotiation skills, you're able to buy at 60 cents on the dollar or less. Uh, and there are plenty of buyers who are going to pay 75 to 80% of the uh, after repair price today. So 
it's a great time to be in uh, the, the wholesaling business. There's lots of buyers with lots of money out there uh, and not just wholesaling, but seller finance type product as well. So um, it's, a, it's a great time to be in this business. Like I said, I haven't seen this since 2006. Um, we're not counting our chickens just yet, but I think the next year or so at least is going to be golden in this business. So uh, as my grandfather used to say, make hay while the sun shines. So get out there and get these deals done.